In this video we're making a single strand initial bracelet. You can easily put this bracelet on and off yourself with its adjustable sliding knot. This is a really simple design with that sliding knot and some beads to give it some detail. For our design today we've got four seed beads and one alphabet letter bead. And then we're using 0.8 millimeter polyester cotton twine and we're using 40 centimeters of that. Now we start by putting the beads on for the middle design. So in my case, I'm putting a seed bead, then the initial bead, and then another seed bead. Now we want our beads to be sitting right in the middle of our thread. So place the ends together and follow it back down, making sure those beads are sitting in the middle. Now we grab on one side of the beads there, that position there is where we want to place our knot. So just bring our cord around and through the loop for a simple overhand knot and pull it tight. Sliding those beads up against the knot and then swapping onto the opposite side so we can do a knot on this side of the beads as well. This time working that knot down nice and slowly and gently so that we can position it right up against the beads. Once it's in the right position, you can pull it nice and tight and that should hold your beads secure in the center. Now we're onto the sliding knot part of our design. I like to lay my bracelet down with the threads overlapping on this right hand side. And this is where we're going to place our sliding knot. Now we cut another length of twine about 30 centimeters long. So placing this piece underneath our threads where they overlap. Now bringing this left side around to the right over those other cords and leaving a little loop on the left hand side here. And now bringing the right side down over that other cord. And then gently passing it underneath to come up that loop on the left hand side. Pulling it nice and tight. Now for square knots we alternate our stitches. So this next stitch we bring the right side cord around and over those cords. Leaving our little loop on the right hand side. And the left side cord comes down over that other cord. And then underneath to come up that loop on the right hand side. Pulling it nice and tight. And now it's back to the left side stitch again. So left side cord around, leaving that little loop there. Right side cord comes down and then underneath to come up that loop on the left hand side. Pulling it nice and tight. And now it's the right side cord around, leaving that little loop. Left side cord comes down, under and up that loop on the right hand side. Pulling it nice and tight. Just continue alternating these same stitches left and right until your little square knot is as long as you want it to be. I usually do about six or eight stitches depending on the bracelet. Once you're happy with the size of your sliding knot, then you can cut these little tails off quite short and just melt the ends, singeing them with a lighter. Being careful not to melt the actual knot. So I just singe the ends to melt them and then tap them with the scissors to fuse them onto the knot. Now I just make sure my sliding knot is sliding okay. And now we're going to size our bracelet. So we need to extend it to the point where it can fit over our hand. This is the minimum size it can be and still fit over your hand to go on and off. I place a bead on each thread and then tie a simple overhand knot just away from that square knot. Making sure our knots are nice and even on each thread. Knowing that at this size our bracelet can fit over our hand and then we can pull it tight. 
Then we just cut each tail off just outside the knots and singe them with a lighter so they don't fray. 